Today, we're going to be talking about everything you need to know before purchasing your shower door. Hi, it's Chris with CNC Glass, aka The Glass Guy, and today we're going to be talking about everything you need to know before purchasing your shower door. Wouldn't it be great to have the information up front? Unfortunately, most people find out things sometimes a little too late. So hopefully this video is hitting you before you purchase your shower door and we can give you a few tips and tricks that'll make the purchase a little bit easier and make sure you get exactly what you're looking for. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you get to see all of our latest videos. First things first, should you even purchase a shower door? We made a whole video on that very topic. It's called shower door versus shower curtain. And we'll put a link to that video down in the description so you can check that out. But for the most part, um, if you have kids, if it's on a tub and you're bathing the kids in the tub, that may be somewhere where you don't want a shower door. The other thing you want to think about is accessibility and the look that you're looking to go for. Those are all things that are going to be determinant in whether a shower door is even right for you. But let's take the next step and say it is. My suggestion is to, if you're not sure, watch that video that's in the description, shower door versus shower curtain, and that will give you a great idea. Shower doors are not inexpensive. One of the things I think that people should think about before purchasing a shower door, outside of whether a shower door is right for you in the first place or not, is having a budget for your shower door project. Most people skip this step completely, and unfortunately, I think that's a big mistake. Because they skip the budget up front when they're first creating their bathroom, they really don't have any idea how much the shower is going to cost in the end. I would suggest calling around some different glass companies or researching online of some different shower door options and what those might cost based on the size of the shower that you're building for your specific shower. Most glass companies or shower door providers are happy to give you a budget number up front. It'll probably be a ballpark number and it'll probably be a very close estimate depending on the numbers that you give them. However, I think that most people unfortunately skip this step. If you want to get a basic idea of what shower doors cost, we did put together a video of what do shower doors cost. I will also put that video in the description below so that you can use that as a resource while you're budgeting for your shower door. You can do a lot of your research on the internet with sites like House, Pinterest, Google Images, or you can even visit some local glass companies' websites. Our website is candc.glass, and you can feel free to use that as a resource as well. What you're going to want to research on these sites is the different styles, the different looks, maybe some of the different options, and kind of get a really good feel for what you're looking to accomplish in the end. This will have a direct result, and when you're calling some of those glass companies, for pricing, that'll give you a more exact number up front for your ballpark or for your estimate. That way on the backside, you can meet your budget. You can research things like style, glass types, hardware styles and colors. You can also research the different types of doors and the differences between them and the pricing differences between them. We think that having this information up front will help you make a better decision down the road. If you're having your shower door installed professionally, we recommend checking out the company that's going to be doing the installation. You want to make sure they have things like insurance. You want to make sure they're proficient in what they do. You may even want to ask them for some references. Most legitimate companies have no problem at all giving references, and they're very happy to do so. You can also check out their reviews on Google, Facebook, or other social media platforms. This will give you a good feeling on whether you have a great company to work with or not. Another thing you can do when choosing the company to work with to install your shower door or to purchase your shower door from is to have them come out on site. This will give you a good gut feeling on whether you like the company, how they handle themselves, how they appreciate you as a customer, and the level of customer service you'll get through the whole project. 
Don't be afraid to ask questions. Great companies love to give you the answers to all of your questions. If you're purchasing a shower door online or from a company to install yourself, make sure you do a few things. Number one, make sure it's the right door for the opening. What I mean by that is a lot of times I see people buy a slider that needs a three inch curb and they only have a two inch curb. That door unfortunately won't work. The other thing that I've seen people do is buy swinging doors when there's nowhere to open the swinging door and either hits into a toilet or something else. This is usually only in smaller bathrooms, but I see it unfortunately quite often. The second thing you're going to want to do is make sure you measure properly. Most companies that you order shower doors from, whether it's online or a plumbing supply company that you can order a shower door from, or even a glass supply company that you can order from, they'll give you the, the specifics that they want for the shower door. One thing you're going to want to make sure you really do is double check your measurements. I can't stress this enough as even some, something as little as an eighth to a quarter of an inch can really throw your door off. The other thing you're going to want to check with the measurements is how plumb your walls are. This can make a big difference, especially depending on what type of door you're putting in. If it's a frameless door or a barn door slider type, type style, that can really make a big significant difference whether that door will work for your scenario or not. And then once again, you're going to want to research that specific door that you're getting for your shower to make sure, number one, it is a good fit as far as layout and everything else. You're getting the proper height. It will work with the base or, uh, or the curb that you have in place and you won't have any issues down the road. We hope this information helps you when purchasing a shower door for your bathroom. We'd like to hear from you. We'd like to know what type of content you'd like us to create whether it's more how-tos, specifics on shower doors, where to get or how to get certain materials for shower doors, or maybe you want us to hook up with more of our contractor friends like Mike from DBS that we did another video with and get more in depth on other types of construction and home improvement product projects. Let us know in the comments below so that we can make videos that you guys will love to watch. Don't forget to check out this video here on how to clean your shower doors.